He doesn't live here. Okay. He li he actually stays with mom at this location, but like she said, he's always in and out. He doesn't fit, you know stay there every day, so she doesn't really know who he stays with. This is him, victim. Coming to homicide, you work as a team, and that was that was something different from where I came from because working in special victims unit, you actually work as a single investigator and you kind of usually do things on your own. Um, working in homicide, you have a team. Uh, everybody's usually assigned to a task once we get out to a scene, um, and you're you know you're relied upon, you're dependent upon in getting. Uh, your task assigned uh, completed uh, to help the lead investigator in their case. See, that kind of looks like a front right there. No? Yeah, it's palm partial. Okay. I don't know if this car's been stopped recently. I don't know if there was anything on that. It's like a puzzle, you know, and, and what's interesting is that you use so many different resources. Um, Working, coming from Special Victims Unit, you don't really have to utilize so many resources from outside agencies or, or um, technological resources. Here, you've got surveillance cameras you need to pull, research videos. You've got your CSU who's very helpful and, and uh, makes suggestions on scenes on what needs to be collected or what doesn't. Um, for the most part, you know, it's a very beneficial and it's a learning experience for me to see because you learn something every day or on different scenes. You're le always learning something new. Um, we have uh, outside agencies that work with us closely, like the Texas DPS. Um, they have very helpful. Uh, we've got our warrants division. That's very beneficial. Um, I, I, it's just there's so much, so many people that come into play in investigating or um, conducting the investigation of a murder, of a homicide, um, to reach that goal of finding who did this, who committed this murder. The case that I'm currently working, for instance, it was a drive-by shooting. Um, it was out in the middle of the evening, up around 4.30 daylight time. Um, supposedly no one saw the shooting occur. Um, luckily there was surveillance footage. We were able to review that. We have an idea of who's, you know, the suspect vehicle. But again, you have nobody wanting to come forward and speak. You know, we go out there, we canvass the area, we speak to people, um, but nobody wants to be seen talking to the police or having their name thrown out in the, in the report saying they helped us get to this person and, and furthermore find out who exactly killed this individual. So it, it, it is, can get frustrating at times uh, because you know you're right there, but yet you still don't have enough to get that person yet. This job is rewarding in the manner that um, knowing that you caught the killer, knowing that you got justice for the family, and not only that, but you got a murderer off the streets before he or she could ever harm anybody else. That's a great uh, feeling in itself to know that justice was served and um, that family can be a little bit more at ease. It, it may not be closure for them, but it'd be closure for them to know that that person was caught. You have to have that support group. For, for me, and I can only speak for myself, um, I have the support of my husband, who's also works here for the Sheriff's Office, he's in K-9. So he understands what this job entails as a homicide investigator. Um, he supports me 110%. He actually encouraged me to take the position because I was very, very hesitant. Um, it is a scary kind of opportunity to, to just jump into because you really don't know if you're cut out for it. And that's why I suggest for any person that's interested in going to homicide, especially the females, to take that opportunity to come over and go out with the squad on call as if you were already here, get called out in the middle of the night and experience what it's truly like to be a homicide investigator. Because you're gonna see things that not every normal person would see. Uh, unfortunately, we see the dark side of what the evil of what people can do to other human beings. So it takes a lot, not, not just mentally, but physically and spiritually to be able to deal with this kind of work. Um.